Alright YouTube world, you need to share this video everywhere you can so that maybe we can find out some more information on this, but we got black crappies. Uh, the Wisconsin DNR doesn't have anything posted about it yet. But they have a lot of sores, redness, and their meat is very bloody and we don't know what it is. Apparently it's a sarcoma of some kind, but we don't know if it's bad for us, good for us, what the problem is. So, share this video everywhere. Let's just share it as much as possible to get the information out there so we can find some answers. Because they all, they, all the, almost all the ones we've fled so far have had something wrong with them. But it's a weird little thing. You can see the redness in its tail like that. Oh, I get the focus right here. You can see how red the tail is like that, and then on the top fin. And some of them have actual sores, big red sores. But all the meat's coming out bloody, and that is not natural. Or what it should look like. So share this video. Let's get the let's get the word out there and see if we can get answers. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It has been a very long time since I've seen all your smiling faces out there. I think you guys lost some weight over the winter, huh? Yeah, life's been crazy uh, up here in the Great White North. Negative 60s for a while there. Didn't really want to go fishing during that. Then we got dumped on for snow. Then I had a gaming tournament, which was so much fun. Didn't win anything, but still the experience was awesome. They wouldn't let me film there. Anyway, we went on one trip so that I didn't show you guys to Mille Lacs. So I'll just show you a little clip of that quick. He's looking at it, he's looking at it. Here he comes. Got him this time. He's pretty small, but I got him this time. <laughs> he's pretty small. <laughs> but, but, ladies and gentlemen, no skunk in the shack tonight. <laughs> he's little, but uh, no skunk. That's all that matters. Let's get him back down. And hope his uh, great great grandpa comes and comes and eats with us, huh? I mean, he's really long for being that small, though. Yeah. Skinny and long, but still, look at that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, yeah. So Mille Lacs, there was there was a lot of snow. Like got a lot of snow. It just got like two feet, foot and a half, or something like that. Something crazy. Uh, we had to use the roads that were already plowed for us, and I didn't get to a spot I wanted to go. We ran out of time. Blah blah blah. blah. Caught one fish. That'll happen. So I didn't really want to put that on you guys to watch. Then life got crazy, so you know, I haven't been out. I haven't had a video since the 26th when I fell. But I'm still alive, still doing it. Uh, and now we're on a crappie mission tonight. We should get some 13 inches tonight, so it'll be a good time. It's kind of hard to get on the lakes if you don't have a plow or a snowmobile right now. So going to where we can, hopefully we catch some crappies. It's gonna be a good night. And uh, yeah, that about wraps it up for now. Let's just let's just get to the lake, huh? I got well, I have one stop to make before we get to the lake. Show you guys that, but then we'll go to the lake. So we got a lot of new faces since I've been gone, like 25 or 30 subscribers or so. Hello, thank you, welcome to the channel. If you haven't already, hit subscribe down below. And uh, let's get out on the lake, shall we? Let's do it. All right me that's not good music for this scene just change it no change it to something please i don't know it's funny i don't know change it to something that fits the scene aaron that's more like it all right back you guys even know what that is oh it's the rest of maryland's deer can't wait to dig into it Jerky beer sticks. Oh, so excited. So excited. But now, but now, but now. Now we're off to the lake. Let's go catch ourselves some crappies, eh? How about that, dear boys? Let's just go out there on the lake and give her a rip, shall we? set up in the shack uh, as of right now we're just kind of it's kind of waiting until the evening for when those crappies come in off that basin and make their way up into the shallows here <laughs> all right we're freshed up on batteries um, we have been catching some fish they're all pretty small one keeper panfish it was a nice one uh, before I turn the camera on 
So now it's just a matter of just waiting until the evening comes and catch some crappies. But yeah, just wanted to give you guys a quick like, hey, thanks for subscribing. We've grown a lot this year. We've had some crazy milestones this year. Biggest northern of my life. Uh, the wife, Marilyn, shooting her first deer. I was so incredibly happy about that. Lots of the first trip to Mille Lacs ever. There was a lot of stuff that we did this year that was a great time went to boston went to san diego this past year but thank you all so much for your support i hope you keep watching i hope you want to keep up with everything that we're doing over here i'm gonna catch one of these sooner or later here just wanted to give you a quick rundown thanks for watching appreciate it appreciate all the views that we're getting on this new subscribers the new subscribers we have gotten i appreciate all of those things hold on you oh my god so now we wait. I'll put you guys, put you guys away for a bit until those crappies start biting. Jeez, come on. Uh, and then we will bring the camera back and see if we can't get ourselves some 13 inches tonight. That would be fun. Uh, those are the crappies we're hoping for. Ooh, there's one. I caught one. Uh, it's fighting a little bit here. Oh, no, no, it's small. Real small. This is what we're catching right now. Bang! Look at that. Huge! Wait, hold him on here. Look how big that bluegill is! <laughs> oh, come on. He splashed me right in the face. But, I mean, look at that. Look at that bait. Look at that bait that this fish bit. It's unreal. Go away. Look, that's tip-up minnow. Jesus. Uh, I am using the blue Northland Tackle Puppet Minnow uh, today, tonight. So, it's my favorite. It's my favorite color. It's always... It's always done me well out here on this lake, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, so I've had you guys off for a while. We've caught quite a few. Uh, we're just not keeping anything under 10 inches anymore. We're catching a whole lot of nine, nine and a quarter, nine and three quarter inch fish. So, oh, come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, crap. Oh, oh. Dad's pole was in the water still over here. All right, so that's a. Uh, this is average for the night right here. This one, well, this is probably a little small. This is a little below average for the night right here, but seven inch or seven and a half. But we're catching them, a lot of them, pretty continuously. There it was. Oh, did I miss? Oh, got him. Oh, this is pretty small. It's pretty small. Like I said earlier, the fake bait's been catching the size. When I do catch one on there, it's nine and a half, nine and three quarters. And uh, with the real minnows, it's been all over the board. Like this one's tiny. This is probably the smallest one I've seen all night. All night, this has been the smallest fish. There's a few advantages to a real minnow that I, you know, I am jealous of. The bite, the bite of these crappies with a real minnow is much better than oh he was on for a second i felt the weight is much better than the, the fake bait the fake bait you're just gonna have a split second with that jigging wrap whatever you might use you got a split second if you don't catch it they're spitting that back out immediately that if you're using a real minnow with a tungsten they're gonna hold it for a minute you're gonna have time to react that's a it's a pretty good positive to have on your side but then again i just had a bite i missed it i know i don't have to check for a minnow right now with this fake bit. Ooh, he bit it twice. I missed him on the second one completely though. The first one, I, I felt the weight. That second one, I had no chance. Just completely, completely whiffed it. <laughs> if this fish bites right now, it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good crappie. No, man! Come on, man! Once again, I had that weight for a second. I felt the tug. That was a good fish. That was way better than the last one that I just missed. That I missed last time. It's like the fake hook has five hooks on it, and I can't get one in them. What's going on here, bud? Minnow's still on there. I can feel it. Fish is still chasing. There he is. Got him that time. Pretty small. Not much of a fighter. A little better, a little better, but oh, oh. but not gonna get in the bag. He ain't gonna cut it. 
He's only seven and a half. Not gonna make it happen. Like I said, the live bait's getting the numbers, but not the size. So let's get him back. Back in the water. Let's come over here, see if we can't get a see if I can't miss another bite over here, shall we? If you are interested in what that we're running with that live minnow. It's just a pink tungsten, real small in size. Uh, oh, it's pink and white with an eyeball. Standard tungsten bait. There you go. No! Come on, man! Oh, that's... Was that three now? Are you guys counting? Keep a counter up in the corner or something? Dang, man. I have not been able to connect with this puppet minnow right now. I don't know what's happening with myself. <laughs> oh my god, I was like... Oh, that's four in a row, and they've been big ones. I've, I've, I've had the weight for a second, and I can feel them, and then they just come off. Damn. My, my, blank, my screen is blank, blank. Yeah, I've caught them all up in here oh. on your side. I mean, where you left it, like, 30 seconds after you left, your pole was bent over. I was like, oh, shit. Good morning, everybody. We never caught one over 13, so that's unfortunate, but oh, wait till you, oh my god, guys, look at this. We got that to do with, so we're trying to get packed up as fast as we can here and get ourselves off the lake, so <laughs> I'm gonna put you guys down for a bit and uh, I'll bring you back in a little bit. Once we have the fish out, I'll, we'll, we'll deal with that in a minute, so. Bear with us while we uh, pack up in this blizzard. Uh, I think the weather app said gusts of up to 40 miles an hour. Mm. Mm. All right, we are all packed up. We're in a line. I'm gonna try to find my way off this lake because this road is impossible to see with the snow blowing how it is. We're just waiting for one more to get in line and then we are gonna get off this lake, but Ooh man, this is this will be interesting to uh, hopefully be able to stay on the road because I mean those snow banks, there's a couple points where it was up there. So just try to stay in the middle, give everyone a path behind me, tow in the shacks, and get off this lake, shall we? I mean the snow in the road's fine. It's not like that's a big deal. Just make sure to stay on the road is going to be the interesting part. And then once we start going north and south I'm sure it's gonna be drifted over pretty bad so we got a truck with a plow though so we'll we're gonna get going <gasps> whoa whoa YouTube world she need to share this video everywhere you can so that maybe we can find out some more information on this but we got black crappies uh, the Wisconsin DNR doesn't have anything posted about it yet they have a lot of sores redness and their meat is very bloody and we don't know what it is apparently it's a sarcoma of some kind but we don't know if it's bad for us good for us what the problem is so Share this video everywhere. Let's just share it as much as possible to get the information out there so we can find some answers. Cause they all, they all the, almost all the ones we've flayed so far have had something wrong with them, but it's a weird little thing. You can see the redness in its tail like that. Oh, I'm gonna get the focus right here. You can see how red the tail is like that and then on the top fin and some of them have actual sores, big red sores, but all the meat's coming out bloody and that is not natural or what it should look like. So, share this video. Let's get the let's get the word out there and see if we can get answers. Thank you. Jesus, this is what we're dealing with coming off the lake too, except we need to hit that drift with that front tire and the snow is coming across the windshield and you couldn't see a damn thing. Kind of like that, but even worse. Oh, like that. <laughs> That's what we were dealing with coming off the lake, which was 
made a little rough, but it got in, it got interesting for sure. But uh, we're all good now. I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna put you guys down so I can drive safely. And I'll see you there.